Let's talk about how to prepare for your server and application monitor installation. In this video, we'll discuss best practices for setting up your environment for three different sizes of installation, from small to enterprise for both server and database. We'll also walk you through some prep steps that you can take ahead of time to ensure a smooth installation. As always, make sure you read and fully understand the system requirements thoroughly before planning your installation. This video is intended as a guide, however, it does not replace these requirements. First, let's take a look at what we mean by small, medium, and large environments. For SAM, we gauge the environment size by the number of components you are monitoring. A small installation generally tends to be an AL150 through an AL300 license. A medium installation is usually AL700 through an AL1500 license and a large installation is an ALX or unlimited license. Before we go any further, let's discuss whether you plan on using physical hardware or a virtualized environment. Orion can be installed on either. However, if you're planning to use a virtual server, you'll need to ensure that the Orion server has a dedicated network interface. There's a simple reason for this. SNMP traffic tends to get lower priority than other traffic, so you may see performance issues or drops if the Orion server is competing with other servers for the same busy NIC. If you plan on installing Orion on a virtual server, take extra care to read the virtual server system requirements. Let's begin by taking a look at a small environment. This will be of interest to those of you that have an AL150 or AL500 license. While it might not always be possible, my recommendation would be to place your SQL database and Orion installation on separate servers. If you already have an SQL server available that matches our SQL server recommendations, you will find that you'll get better performance to place your database there rather than trying to run SQL and Orion on the same server, where they'll be competing for limited resources. The minimum requirements for a small environment are a 2 GHz CPU, 4 GB of RAM, and at least 4 GB of hard drive space. This is fine for a very small environment, but you might start seeing performance issues. Your web console might not run quite as smoothly or quickly as you'd like. Ideally, for a small installation, if you can manage it, a dual-core 3 GHz CPU, 6 GB of RAM, and 20 GB of hard drive are preferred. Keep in mind that these requirements are on top of the base operating system requirements. Now let's take a look at a medium environment. This will be interesting to you if you have an AL700 through AL1500 license. With a medium to large environment, it's very strongly recommended that you split the Orion instance and your SQL database to different servers. Also, you should never connect your Orion server and SQL server over a WAN connection. For a medium environment, your system requirements are a little higher than a small one. Depending on your installation size, you'll want between 6 and 8 gigs of RAM. This is very dependent on how often you plan to pull, how much you plan to pull, and how many users will be accessing the web console. If you find that you are pushing toward the higher end of your maximum 1500 components with customized pulling rates, you may want to allocate even more resources towards 10 gigs or more. Keep in mind that for scaled environments, you will still use these system requirements, but you'll be applying them to multiple servers. This will keep your polling and web console ticking away just fine. The real performance will come from your SQL server. For medium or large environments, you'll need a separate SQL standard or enterprise server. The RAM limitation and database size limitations for SQL Express rule it out as an option for larger environments. We'll talk about optimal SQL environments later on, as they play a critical role in performance for both medium and large environments. Now let's take a look at the large environment. Just like the medium environment, you will need to increase resources as additional demand is put on the server. It's worth pointing out that additional polling engines are just that. They add additional polling power. They don't come with their own web consoles. They connect back to the same database as your main Orion server. So if you have one server that's beefier than the others, make sure that one becomes your main polling engine, as your main poller will also have the additional load of polling coordination and serving the web console. Now let's take a moment to discuss the best practices for your SQL environment for medium and large installations. The optimal setup for an Orion database on SQL server would use multiple logical drives. One drive for the host operating system, 
one for the data files, and one for the transaction logs. Solid-state drives do provide an advantage for data file storage, but not as big an advantage for transaction log storage. Set up your disk subsystem to use RAID 10. The I.O. requirements for an Orion database are intense. RAID 10 will provide you with the best performance. Don't be tempted to use RAID 5. It's strongly not recommended and can lead to performance issues for the whole Orion environment. The size of your Orion database files will vary and will depend on how often you want to pull, how long you need to store the information for, and how detailed that stored information is. It will also depend on how many devices are sending syslogs and traps to the Orion system, and whether they've been configured to send only pertinent information or whether they're spamming debug messages. When it comes to RAM, you can never provide your SQL server with too much. The more your database is served directly from RAM, the less paging your SQL server will need to do, and the greater your performance will be. Finally, and this point is critical, always, always reserve some RAM for your operating system. SQL will continue to consume RAM to the point where it can affect the responsiveness of the entire system. By reserving a minimum of one gigabyte of RAM, your operating system is guaranteed to be able to access it. If you have other applications on the server, increase the reservation to ensure there is an adequate amount of RAM for all applications and the operating system. This can be done by your database administrator, or this can be configured on your SQL server using Microsoft's SQL Management Studio. Set the maximum server memory option to limit the amount of RAM that will be available to SQL. So now that we've spoken about some best practices and system requirements, let's take a quick look at some steps that you can take to ensure a successful installation. First, take a look at your infrastructure. On the server or servers where you plan to install Orion, look to see if you have any antivirus software installed. If you do, you'll need to add a list of exclusions to add to your antivirus software. A list of exclusions can be found in the administrator's guide. Getting this done in advance will ensure that the antivirus software won't cause any issues during the install. Check the system resources and confirm that the server is up for the task. If this is for a smaller business with a limited number of available servers, it's crucial that Orion not be installed on a domain controller or a BlackBerry RIM server. Make sure you're using a local account with administrative rights as a domain account is subject to your domain group policies. If your SQL server is managed by a separate DBA team, you'll need to contact them in advance and request the SA username and password. This information is required during the initial configuration to create your new Orion database. It is also used to create a new SQL user for Orion to use in its database communications. The user that is created will only have access to the Orion database itself, and it will not have SA privileges. The SA username and password will not be used again after the database and this user have been created. So that wraps up our discussion on system requirements and best practices for preparing your Orion installation. The next step in this series will walk you through how to complete an Orion installation and will guide you through the options outlined in the Orion Configuration Wizard.